up everybody youtubers how are y'all thanks for joining uh, another texas barbecue podcast we got a uh, veterans q on today and uh we're gonna be talking to him about his uh rubs and uh sauces and uh he's a veteran owned company as y'all can see i've already uh, done a couple veteran owned and uh, i support them so they did uh they did great things now they're doing more great things about putting out product, and uh, I'm going to be the one to share it with everybody. So, we got Steve calling in, and we're going to talk about uh, Veterans Q here for just a little bit. So, y'all listen up. Let's uh, find out some more stuff about Steve and Veterans Q and how it started. Hey, this is Brandon. Hey, Brandon and Steve. Hey, Steve, how are you? All right, bud. How are you? Doing good. Doing good, man. That's good. So you ready to ready to rock and roll? Share your story. Yeah, definitely, I'm ready. Because that's definitely uh, that's what we're doing. Usually, I always come up like every episode. You'll probably hear me say a different kind of spill, but I I, I don't have any preliminary questions because basically, I it's a platform for y'all to be able to, you know, just share your story and give a little about basically almost like a video podcast audible review of your company. So instead of someone going to your website and hitting that about button, you know, they can actually hear it from the man himself. Um, so yeah, that's what we're here to do, man. So, okay. Sounds good. So Steve, uh, veterans, uh, veterans Q. Yes. And how did you, uh, you, so you're, you're prior military. So it's a veteran owned company, correct? Correct. Awesome. What got you into barbecue or the retail? Did you, were you cooking barbecue before? Or did you just jump straight into, uh, you know, wanting to retail barbecue rubs? Cause maybe you liked it a little bit at the house. How did kind you start? Kind of a- Kind of a little bit about both. I actually started, um, I won some money on March Madness um, about in 2015. So when I won some money, I figured, um, you know, like what I was going to do with the money. And it wasn't much. It was a few hundred dollars. So I started kind of going back and figuring out, hey, you know, I'm going to go buy something. And and I've always been in the barbecue and, I, you know, watching uh, the pit masters and whatnot. So. Okay. I figured I'll go ahead and, um, you know, I started, I started searching for barbecue smokers and, and, uh, found some from, um, you know, good reviews from Amazon, uh, from amazing ribs. So I went ahead and uh, picked up a, a pit barrel smoker for the first time. And, uh, once I got a pit barrel, I started, I smoked a couple times and I thought this food was, was great. And, um, you know, I figured, Hey, I could go ahead and try to compete like the guys on TV. It's pretty, it's the yeah. best barbecue I've ever had. For sure. So um, I didn't know that you had, I didn't know you could buy commercial products for a barbecue competition. So I just started uh, making my own, making my own sauces and rubs and, and whatnot. And, you know, going on Google and um, I'm a, or I'm a hundred percent Google and YouTube type uh, smoker. Everything I learned so far is on YouTube. Nice. Well, we so, all got to learn somewhere. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. And there's nothing so wrong with I, that. <laughs> no, nothing at all. It's a, it's a good place to go for everything. And uh, so after doing some research on different recipes and, um, you know, whatnot, I kind of found the main ingredients on, uh, you know, 10 or so recipes and started creating my own, um, you know, here and there for the competition. And um, so I went to competition uh, like in September. So I gave me a few months to practice and had people try out the sauces and rubs and see what they liked and nice. try, try ribs. <clears throat> and it was a backyard competition. So it was like ribs, chicken, and like a whatever dish. So uh, I ended up taking like second place out of 60 some teams. And uh, I was like, hey, this, this uh, competition stuff is pretty easy and fun. Let's keep doing it. Um, so that was, uh, and we did another one that you know, like a month later or a couple or actually the following week, we did another one and took third place. Nice. And then, uh, we're like, Hey, this is great. Let's keep going. And then, um, so that was in like 15. So, um, and then in six, 2016 started doing competitions again, we won our first, uh, competition for ribs and, uh, it wasn't much. We got like a hundred dollar check or so. Um, so, uh, I was like, you know, this is just for fun. I don't really need, you know, need what's a hundred dollars. It's not the end of the world. So, gotcha. 
I just decided to go ahead and donate um, the winnings that we got to a local veteran organization here in Chicago. And that's kind of how we do started doing the donations. It was just kind of like a fluke. And, you know, then uh, from competitions, people started asking us to cater their event, like, you know, friends and neighbors and whatnot. And so then through the catering, um, in 2016, people were asking to buy our, our barbecue sauce that we were using. And nice. so we were selling out of, uh, you know, the kitchen and whatnot. And, um, and then, a, um, like, a like, a a barbecue store, a local barbecue store reached out, um, and saw that we were selling our, our barbecue sauce on, um, Facebook and reached out and said, Hey, once you get it, uh, commercially packaged, we go ahead and throw it in our store. Nice. So I reached out to, uh, you know, some people and found a manufacturer and got our first uh, bottle of sauce manufactured in 2017 and started selling a retail stores in 2017. Awesome. So you've been, so 17, you had your, had your rubs and sauces. Where are you, where were you marketing at? What retail stores? What, what region was this location? Um, in Chicago. Okay. So, um, we actually never, I never planned on doing, um, you know, stores or whatnot. It was right. just kind of like, Hey, it was kind of cool to do. Um, when I started selling sauce and rubs, I, I didn't expect I was going to sell, you know, hardly any, you know, if, you know, if any. So right. when we did my first commercial order, it was pretty small, maybe like 700, 800 bottles. Um, and I figured it would take me a few years to sell that. Ah. Um, so, uh, so just, you know, the, the store took a couple, you know, a couple of cases, not much. And, I was just pushing it on Facebook and all of a sudden within, um, I think it was like two or three months we were sold out. Nice. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. So then it, <laughs> and then it was like, Hey, this is kind of, kind of crazy. Maybe it's a little more than we thought. And so then we just started hitting up, uh, you know, local mom and pop stores here in Chicago area and, um, a couple grocery stores and, um, they took us on board and we just kind of started growing from there. Awesome, man. So since 2017, you've been in the stores. Is that right? Yep. February yeah. of 17. So February to 17 to date, how many bottles yeah. have you sold? Um, I don't know how many to date exactly, but it's a couple hundred thousand. Nice. Yeah. And are you, are you still, so you got it online now. Is it retail side? Is it still just in Illinois in Chicago or do you have no, some down here now? Or, we have some in, um, uh, a couple different places. We have a couple places in, um, in Texas, down in Southern Texas, along the border. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, but uh, we have a, we're in a few mom and pop stores um, throughout the country in about fifteen different locations or different states. Nice. Uh, so, um, and our website has all the different locations that carries our products. And obviously, if uh, you know a location that's interested, we just got into a new one in Texas. Um, I can't think of it off the top of my head. We'll, you know what city it's in? Another, what? You know what city it's in? You know what? I would have to look. I don't okay. remember off the top of my head. Not Premier Grilling, would it? Or Barbecues Galore? No, no I don't okay. think so. Okay. Those are base. I guess those are probably the main ones up here in North Texas. Dallas. Okay. Warren, so. Yeah, it's you know what? It's we get a lot of um a lot of people um so I I think a lot of people you know hear about us and they go to the local stores, and then um, the stores will call us up and we kind of talk a little bit and let them know how it goes and then gotcha. um. You know, so we get a lot of talks with a lot of people, but then it's just if they finally, you know, they if they pull that trigger or not. Right. I <laughs> gotcha. So, so was did you start with sauce or uh, rub? We started with sauce. Um, up here in Chicago, sauce is the big thing. Rubs and seasonings are not are not crazy. Okay. Um, so we started with sauce, and it's obviously cheaper too to do sauce. Sure. So we started with sauce, and then um, after a year. Um, we did a, a, um, Kickstarter, uh, campaign to try okay. to go ahead and get our second barbecue sauce and, um, our two rubs. And, uh, we did a, um, our Kickstarter and it was successful. So we were able to do our second sauce and, um, both of our rubs. Cause originally we were just doing our original barbecue sauce only. Wow. So you were selling, so you've done, uh, you said a couple hundred thousand bottles. Yeah, that's what. With everything, yep. And and that is that include all four of your selections, or were you were you really just doing all your original sauce for for a minute? Like, how long did you do original before you came out with the the next sauce? One year. One year. So okay. we've been, yeah, we did original since two, February two thousand seventeen, 
And then in 18, we came out with our second sauce and our two rubs. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. And yeah. So it's been pretty, cra pretty crazy. So with everything, we sold a couple hundred thousand bottles. Nice. That's pretty good. And I, I remember you were talking about your donations. I didn't know exactly for sure, but I clicked on your website. So 100% of your profits, you're donating them to uh, some type of veteran organization. Is that right? Correct. So, yeah, awesome. when we... So when we first started, I didn't I didn't think it was going to be like a, a legit business and nobody would really want anything. So we figured, you know, we were donating money from our competitions um, and we were like, hey, you know, we'll sell a couple bottles here and there. And it'd be cool if we could donate a couple hundred bucks um, every year. So we we're like, we'll just keep donating all the, you know, our profits. And it was cool just, you know, seeing people buy our product or, or you know, seeing it on the shelf. It right. was real cool. And then. Um, so you're just, you know, you're just breaking even because you love doing what you're doing. Exactly. So it's, it's, awesome. it's a horrible, it's a horrible business plan. Well, I'm but... kind of the same way in barbecue. <laughs> you know, I like to just serve people and sometimes I got to meet budgets. So that means, you know, I'm not going to make nothing, but I'll do it anyways. Yep, so. exactly. So that's what we've been doing. So we basically will, we'll front the money. And then, um, after we sell it, we pay ourselves, you know, I'll, I'll pay myself back and gotcha. And that's it. And, um, you know what? Now, and obviously now we have uh, a lot more uh, expenses as, you know, as a business have, you have a lot more things, you know, brokers and distributors and, right. you know, bills. So now it's a lot, a lot more than we thought. So it probably get a little crazy. It's going to get crazier. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Just as long definitely. as you know how to um, basically distribute out the right channels, you'll, fi you'll, yep, you'll figure exactly. it out. It yeah, we've no made a deal. few mistakes, of course, but it's all good. Yeah, for sure. I'm looking at your website. So you do uh, catering where you're at? Yeah, we do catering. So what we started doing um, this since last summer um, to try to help uh, pay for the barbecue sauce and help, uh, you know, funding, we started doing uh, catering and pop-ups. Nice. Um, so we started hitting pop-ups a, a few times a month uh, to different breweries around the uh, Chicago area, mostly in the north uh, west suburbs. And, um, you know, now we're, uh, we booked actually a few weddings, so we're, uh, we're doing our catering and, you know, and, and that seems like it's been, that's been going pretty good actually. Yeah. That's a big hit. Now, did you, did you start doing pop-ups or caterings just solely on you just doing it? Or did you see like some of the guys doing it in LA or, you know, guys doing it here in North Texas? Cause basically the pop-up <laughs> stuff has been going on, I think probably three years now and you know, heavy here in North Texas is, of course, where barbecue is a lot more prominent. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, sure. did, how did you, did you just start it off the, off your own doings or did you see that kind of trend of it going? Yeah, there's, there's a, there's a trend here in Chicago. Okay, cool. So like in Chicago, we have a, we have a good amount of food trucks, but not crazy amounts because uh, the restaurant industry in the city of Chicago is actually crazy strong. So they're very anti food truck and, <laughs> and whatnot. But um, there's a, yeah, there's a lot of uh, pop-ups or uh, food trucks in the suburbs. Nice. So we're a little bit more um, relaxed and more, you know, laid back. And um, we have a, in Chicago area, we have, there's a ridiculous amounts of uh, breweries. And so most of the breweries don't have food. So they, yep. um, the food trucks have been hitting the breweries like crazy. And, you know, just seeing, uh, you know, the, the food trucks coming around and, and we we're like, hey, it's a good idea. We did a, a couple of festivals and we were like, hey, let's just go ahead and try to do a brewery and see if we can make a couple of dollars. And <laughs> nice. it was uh, it was kind of a big hit right away. So it was. Yeah, that's how know, I, I started my deal. <laughs> that's how everybody does it down here. Yeah. When I started yeah. like, catering in 18, when I started my whole, my business before I, I started the podcast last year. Um, but yeah, I was doing breweries. I was basically a pop up at, you know, instead of a food truck, it was me and breweries don't have food. So that was perfect. That's funny how it doesn't just happen here in Texas. <laughs> it's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Barbecue is everywhere. A, yeah. So it was crazy. So like our first, our first, uh, our first pop-up that we ever did was nuts. It was, we were, uh, we didn't know what to expect kind of thing. And, um, and then all of a sudden we had a line the whole entire time and we were sold out of food, I think in like an hour and 40 minutes. Awesome. So it was, uh, it was crazy. We're like, wow, this is nuts. That's pretty awesome, dude. Yeah. So and now we've been hooked since. Yeah, for sure. What branch of the military were you in? I was in the army. Army. Awesome. How yeah. long uh, did you serve? 
I was in from 2002 until 2008 or 2010. Got so it. For eight years. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for your service. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. No doubt. What else we got? Um, yeah. What else? You got anything else to? I know you got more. I know you got something to say. <laughs> this, uh, I know the podium, George. It's like, well, I'm the host, but at the same time, it's 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 your story. It's your. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's just we're just trying to help get our name out there, get our name, uh, um, you know, to we're trying to be a household name and get that brand. Yeah, uh, so recognition and hopefully people know who we are and most importantly know what our mission is. That's the most important thing. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. So your goals right now, um, y'all have any future goals that you're trying to actually accomplish as far as like getting into a one particular retailer that's big, you know, Ace Hardware. Are you are you trying to you got anything coming up this year that you want people to know to that way, you know, they can follow your follow you we're, basically. We're trying so what uh I think uh, for business, the most important thing for us is to try to, you know, I think, um, I think to be, a, have a good foundation for business is actually just uh, kill your own local market. For sure. So uh, right, as of right now, we're, we're doing crazy good in Chicago and, um, um, you know, we're one of the best, if not um, in the last numbers that I received, we were the best or the, I sold, I guess, sold the most uh, as a specialty brand. Awesome. Chicago ain't little. So, it's not a small town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so we're doing really good and you know, we're like in the biggest grocery stores here and and whatnot. And so we've been dominating and they're able, we're able to beat even some of the commercial products. So um our goal is to just keep trying to dominate Chicago area and we're trying to slowly move into um, you know, we moved into Wisconsin last year, which has actually got a pretty good barbecue scene. And nice. uh, we're trying to, you know, trying to go into Wisconsin and and this year we're actually creeping into Iowa, and uh, so we're going to try to slowly and surely, you know, try to get the Midwest. And our goal is to to move out of the Midwest slowly and spread out, you know, towards uh, towards you guys in Texas and whatnot. And come on, <laughs> and we're trying to <laughs> there's trying plenty. to go ahead and we're trying to knock out all the the military bases. So we're we've been working on trying to get with uh, the military, um, you know, installations, and you know, okay. hopefully that's. Uh, all uh, and that's all over the world so we figured you know that's kind of our market is you know military and people who dig barbecue and, and whatnot so you got a good name for it yeah it's so. not too bad <laughs> yeah absolutely um so you were you're saying you're getting into wisconsin are y'all gonna do like a, a dehydrated uh cheese rub or anything like that <laughs> uh, <laughs> i've been yeah. waiting to say that one that's oh, exactly goodness. what we're doing it's straight up dehydrated cheese do some dehydrated blue cheese with some Cajun seasoning. Yep, uh, exactly. That is actually a good one from Spiceology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So, what are the Definitely. organizations that uh, you uh, y'all support? So last year we supported uh, Honor Flight Chicago and Operation Homefront. Um, so our goal, my goal, is to um, to at least do someone that's local here in the um, Chicago area. For sure. And, uh, you know, and possibly do a national wide one. So we've done a couple of local ones um, here that are smaller that deals with like homeless, you know, for veterans and homeless veterans and, you know, veterans who are kind of like on their, you know, need a little help right. to get where they're at. Um, so we've done a lot with that. There's, we've done some uh, local ones that are from this area, but that are also a national level. So there's a thing called an organization called um, um Operation Warrior Wishes, so that's uh, that's actually a national organization, but they're from um, you know just down the street from where I'm at. Okay. So we uh, we do that. So it's the be the, for us to to give you fun um, to give our money to the organization is the uh, organization has to be um, a legit organization where at least eighty percent of their funding goes back to veterans themselves. Awesome. So there's a there's a ton of veteran organizations out there, and there's a ton of nonprofits. But a lot of that times, most of those, um, you know, they go to, you know, the uh, the pocketbooks of the you know the directors and whatnot, and and so we I try to stay away from that since yep. I was. <clears throat> Absolutely. So, buddy. so that's what we do. We we make sure they're legit organization, and they've done stuff in the past, and you know that they're not gonna you know. And you know whatnot, and then hopefully we find out if they're good, and we go ahead and you know throw them a check. Yep, absolutely. You got any uh, new products coming out? You got any, you working on anything at all? <laughs> we are. We're working on a. We have actually a couple. Um, two new sauces 
right now in the testing phase with the uh, manufacturer. Nice. So we, we have that and uh, we're actually um, in the works of coming out with a whole new line of products. Um, I don't see that happening anytime soon, but I would love for it to, to happen, you know, within the next year or so. Gotcha. What is your time frame on these uh, two new sauces? Um, those could be out sooner than later. We're just trying to lurk, work on uh, funding right now. So I we're gotcha. trying to see if we can find any angel investors or or whatnot. And once we get that, we could go ahead and get these uh, these sauces bottled and out to the stores. Hint, hint. There you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just put it out there. Do you have a, can you give us any clues on the flavor profiles of these sauces? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, so okay. one of them, um, we actually um, were teaming up with a, uh, a big uh, country music star for our, our one of our sauces, but we end up uh, just using our product and things just didn't coordinate 100%, but uh, it's a whiskey sauce. It's a whiskey barbecue sauce. Okay. Nice. And then the and the other one is a uh, a mustard sauce. Cool. So more the Carolina gold. Type. Yep, exactly what it nice. is. A Carolina gold mustard sauce. I love that stuff. Yeah, that's actually my favorite. That's my go to for pork for the most for yep. the most part, as far as the pulled pork. Pull yep, pork. yep. I love it. I love that and give me some just uh, straight up vinegar and I'm happy. Okay, okay. What uh what else? So what's the biggest and when you're doing competition let's just get food related. What's the uh, craziest thing you've ever smoked? You know what? I haven't. I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm crazy with food. I don't. Uh, I don't like anything. You know, um, crazy or outside the box. So I've never smoked anything crazy Dang. at all. Like maybe cabbage. So I'm very uh, <laughs> cabbage. Man, you need to get out more. Come down to come I down know. to Texas, I'm, bro. <laughs> I'm. I'm crazy picky with food. I don't. I'm not a big. Uh, I'm not a big foodie. I don't try a whole lot of different foods. I stick with the I got meat you. and potatoes type type stuff. It's a, <laughs> I got you. No, no worries. So nothing, nothing crazy out of here for me, at least. No alligator, no nothing. You ain't got that. No, I do love alligator though. I, I'll eat some fried alligator. <laughs> right. Smoke it first, then fry it. See, you don't even know what you're missing. You could have done no, it yourself. I, I have no, I have no. I have no idea. I, I'll have a I'll have a piece of fish once a year, maybe. Oh man. <laughs> well, hey, there's nothing wrong with meat and potatoes though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, cool. Definitely. Well, man, we kind of we kind of went over everything. Uh, give us all cool. your plugs. Give everybody your plugs. Where can they find you? Man, you can find us on uh, on our website at Veterans Q. It's V E T E R A N S. The letter Q dot com. Or you can find us on uh, Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram. Just, uh, you know, you could search Veterans Q and you can find us there. Awesome. Awesome, man. I appreciate you sending me uh, the samples. Yeah. No I used the, uh, appreciate the pictures. That, yeah, that chicken it. and pork was good last night on that tender one. I think you saw that yeah. in the stories. So. We, so sell a lot of, uh, we sell a lot of the chicken and pork rub. We sell a ton, especially since last year after we got a we came from from the National um, Barbecue Association. We uh, we took a crazy amount of awards and nice. the chicken and pork dominated. So ever since then, it's been just going nuts. And I saw on your uh, on the Facebook, you got top fifteen best damn barbecue sauces in America by Maxim Magazine. Yeah, so actually, uh, <laughs> yeah, when we were not even, we've had a lot of for some reason. I don't know. I don't know how or what's going or how people find us or whatever but um yeah like think in 2017 it was only a couple months after we were um out of um you know just started selling um i don't know how it worked but we we took like some i forgot what place we took we took something in the the barbecue news for our original barbecue sauce like top five and then i think maxim magazine heard about it and put it you know put it in we're considered the best damn barbecue, one of the best damn barbecue sauces from Maxim Magazine, and it, it, so it's been crazy. So everything every year we get a different award. So like then our we you know the following year we did our Sweet Heat barbecue sauce, and we took number one nice. for spicy barbecue in the National Barbecue Association, and uh, our our beef rub is took number one. So it's been, and then now our chicken and pork rubs keep taking. Uh, they're always top five. So it's nice. been. It's been crazy. I don't, yeah. And then we've been in, you know, we were even like voted, uh, 
I think Fox News had us as one of the most patriotic companies in the country. And there you go. Yeah. So there it's been, uh, I like that. Yeah. We've been in like USA Today and it pretty much been in, uh, it seems like we've been in the media a lot in the news. You, you know, get Trump, Trump try your stuff yet? I don't know about that. When he, <laughs> do you want Trump to try your stuff? I want everyone to try, okay. no matter <laughs> what, no matter what they believe. I want them oh, to yeah, try. Yeah. That's funny. And you, and this <laughs> is the Maxim magazine, the Maxim magazine that I'm thinking about. Yeah, it was. That's. Did you get a I centerfold? Had, no, I didn't. I, I didn't know if they even do a paper magazine anymore. I just got the, uh, I just got the alert on Google's because I have my name. Uh, you know, whenever my name comes up on Google, I, I've had it like that for years. And nice. all of a sudden, I, I, I got like a, a message saying my name was on the internet somewhere. And I looked and it was Matt. And I was like, wow, what the hell is this? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. That's awesome, though. Yeah. Well, congrats. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Congrats. Well, cool. Yeah. Everybody check out Veterans Q on Instagram, Facebook, and VeteransQ.com. Uh, Is that right? Did I say it right? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. Well, uh, brother, appreciate you being on and sharing your story. I hope uh, everybody gets uh, you know, some use out of it and they can follow along and watch y'all's journey progress, see the organizations you help, and see everything that you know falls in between. So definitely. Thanks. I appreciate it. You're welcome, brother. We'll see you later, man. All right, All right talk to you later. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. All right. That was good. I love hearing people's stories. And that's why I'm sharing it with y'all on the podcast and YouTube with visuals. You know, you can see the barbecue sauces right here. So for y'all that can't see it, jump on YouTube, uh, Texas Barbecue Show, or you can get on Rack Tech BBQ on Facebook or Instagram. I will have some stories of uh, this video. So appreciate y'all listening. And we're out. Texas barbecue so